everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pets Genetics Challenge! Huzzah! Where we have got gray dogs for days. Any size or shape that you need, you don't need to fear because we meet all of your gray dog needs. Tail or no tail? Small dog? Very, very big dog. It doesn't matter. Flop ear on the right? Flop ear on the left? Doesn't matter. We've got a big gray dog or small gray dog for you here. Right down here. Come on down to Series Random Pet Genetics Laboratory, where it's been gray dogs for generations now. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have some new members of our Patreon who are super awesome and hanging out in our private Patreon Discord lately. And we've been talking about what we want to do on our wiki that we are going to be releasing hopefully in the next couple of months. And somebody actually wants to go through and do a family tree on all of our canines and kitty cats in our random genetics challenge. And all I can think is like six or seven generations will just be gray dog after gray dog after gray dog. But today may be the day that Dumpling is going to free us from those kinds of genes. Yes, Dumpling. Yes, Dumpling. Sit up. Sit up. Try to look straight. I don't think you can achieve that no matter how hard you try. Is it cheating if I just like gently grab her eyeballs and kind of... There you go. You know what? We're going to say that was corrective. Uh, a little bit of corrective surgery for Dumpling. She needs to, to stare straight down the line of the vision that I have for this family tree. Uh, so that's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that that's okay. I think it's fair to, if I can kind of help her out with seeing better, that, that's, a, that's a kind thing to do. But all right, so welcome back, everybody. And today is the day that so many of you have been waiting for because it is time to swap out our lab assistants. We are currently going to say goodbye to Emily, who is our jealous glutton cat lover witch. And she is really awesome. I just love how she came in like all magical and she even had a cat pop up in a dress. That was pretty cool. I apologize. I apologize, Emily, that even though you were a cat lover in our world, I had you focusing on dogs, but I was really hoping. I mean, we even had Luke and his neon-y blueness come on in. I was really hoping we'd be able to break the constant lineage of gray dogs, but it just didn't happen. But all right, now that Emily herself has also gone gray, maybe it was all meant to be all along, we are actually going to release an em Emily and she is going to retire. So let's go ahead and say a fond farewell, Emily. I hope you have a wonderful retirement severance package. Hopefully we paid you quite well for your work. And we will actually be sending Vega and Luke out to the puppy play yard along with their extra children, Yay! who's named Yay because I was so happy to have a dog who wasn't a great dog and a uh, bear because wow bear bear really is quite the bear of a dog so all of them are headed out to the puppy play yard leaving behind only the heirs to both the canine and feline family tree Claudia our lovely cat experiment and Dumpling our wonderful gray dog canine experiment number 55 and we are going to be adding in a brand new lab assistant so this oh wow i actually really love this outfit <laughs> it totally doesn't match or make any sense but this sim has like so much personality coming straight out the gate i absolutely love that but all right so you guys left your names in the comment section of the previous video i don't actually pick the names i put them into a big giant random generator and today the random generator has picked drum roll please DCJ White and DCJ White you asked if we could please use the name Jenna so this is going to be Jenna our brand new lab assistant so there we go there we are all right brand new lab assistant wonderful I love the llama shirt actually I kind of want to leave the llama shirt but you guys know the drill by now now we are actually going to randomize everything about the sim pretty much starting up at the top <laughs> Oh gosh, here, in fact, let's go ahead. I'm gonna start with the aspiration and the traits this time because I really like kind of trying to tie the traits into how the sim ends up looking. So today we are going to have a creative, artistic, so let's see, painting extraordinaire lab assistant. Hopefully that bodes well for lots of color. Jenna is already thinking about lots of color. Hopefully she'll add that into our experiments. And then let's see, the traits are going to be 
Let's see, the fourth trait. And then we're going to have the ninth trait, which is... Oh, no, oh, I'm mean! <laughs> Jenna, okay, maybe you have a, a reason for being mean sometimes. Uh, and then we are going to have... Let's see, the mean and unflirty. You know, I think that Jenna's probably a loner, which is totally okay. I think this is kind of funny. Uh, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think this is kind of an interesting mix, though. Uh, a mean, unflirty music lover who is now our lab assistant. I love that. I need to start using randomized traits when I make some of my sims because that is so outside the box of what I would normally play with. Jenna, I absolutely love it. But all right, let's go ahead and give Jenna a new look and a new outfit to make sure that she is good and ready to go for working here in our random laboratory. Laboratory, excuse me. And you do need to be randomized yourself so that you know the essence of what we are about here in my wonderful random lab. So let's begin with the hairstyle. Uh, or should, you know what, let's save the hairstyle because the hairstyle is like the funnest part. So let's save the hairstyle and we're just going to randomize everything else. Uh, we're going to start with the eyebrows, which we are going to randomize seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice, nice. And then we're going to go ahead, the next thing I can grab, which are the eyes. <laughs> Randomize the eyes four times. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see, what's next? What can I grab? Cheeks? Okay, that's fine. One, two on the cheeks. Nose. One, two, three, four, five, six on the nose. <laughs> okay, I got the cheek again. Let's go for something new. The mouth. Ten times on the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, what else can I, this is always so awkward, just having to like paw at somebody's face and like, okay, what else can I change about you? Yes, sorry about this. This is very awkward. Yes, trust me. I am, I'm also a little bit perturbed and I never really noticed how the head shape changes. So let's try turning her in case I can see it better because we're going to randomize this 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I could kind of see it. Yeah, look, it lifted the eyebrows a ton right there. So that I, I could definitely see that more than usual. And then the jaw, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, I could actually I can actually see some differences. Wow. Dang, Jenna. <laughs> wow. Too bad you're like a mean and un un unflirty sim, because goodness me. Uh, let's see. Can I please? May I please grab your ear, ma'am? Yes, I know this is this is awkward for me too. There we go. All right. So it's kind of like tail or no tail, but it's big ear or small ear. And we're gonna do this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh! Really? <laughs> Maybe people maybe people tease Jenna about her ears and that's why she's got a little bit of an attitude. Is that everything I can change? I think that's everything I can change about her. Uh, other than what she already randomized in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry, Jenna. I just, I have to, I, I'm sorry. We're both uncomfortable about this. I could have sworn there was like a brow or something that you can move, but I'm probably thinking of Sims 3. All right, let's go ahead and grab the hair. And now we are going to change the hairstyle 10 times. One, two, three. Oh, that's actually really cute. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, hey! Hey, that's actually really cute! Dang, Jenna! I love that! Is That's definitely one of the new hairs that came with Adventure, uh, the Adventure Pack. I swear, that is like my hands-down favorite pack forever now. I love that. Uh, all right, and I kind of don't want to change the shirt because I absolutely love the fact that the shirt is like a llama. Um, and normally we go full body outfit, but let's just go ahead and see if I allow Jenna the opportunity to have a top and a bottom, what would it look like? Uh, we're gonna roll 10 times again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, that's actually a lab appropriate attire. I'll go for that. Let's see what the bottoms would look like. Uh, 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, you know what? I can get behind this, Jenna. I think I might start just randomly jumping whatever I feel like, either between full body or like tops and bottoms. And let's go ahead and change the shoes to hopefully something that's a little bit more fitting for the lab. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang! That's really cool. She like completely randomized an outfit that's 100% dedicated to uh, like being an adventurer. And actually, even with the humongo ears, she's really like a cool looking sim. Wow. 
I need to use the randomness to like decorate my townies more often. But welcome to the lab, Jenna. I'm so excited to have you. And I'm hoping her adventurous painting personality means that we are going to finally add more color into our canine side of things because I cannot rest until we finally have more color on these dogs, okay? <laughs> so let me go ahead and we all oh! gonna have another small puppy no way that's so exciting so we are gonna go ahead and we are going to randomize a new dog and this is going to be Heather after Heather Otter's batch so Heather is going to be our 56th dog experiment so our 56 canine experiment and we are going to go ahead and we are going to randomize a mixed breed uh, let's see two times so one two Oh my gosh, this is a really cute dog. This is a really cute dog. Heather, you're a really cute dog. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm actually gonna save this as she is. She's stubborn, hunter, and independent, and she's really ridiculously cute just as she is. So we're gonna save this as experiment uh, 36.5 because that's a really adorable puppy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and now that we have such a cute dog, we are gonna change pretty much everything about her. You guys know the drill by now, everything but head shape. So we're gonna do this one, two, three. Oh, all her little ears went all the way up. That's so cute. Okay, and then the nose is gonna be 12 times. Uh, okay, let's turn her so we can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There we go. That's a really cute nose too. Dang, Heather, the puppy is just getting cuter and cuter the more we do this. Nine times on the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay. I think we could definitely, like, if it was, like, these dark eyes, that would actually be very enchanting in its own way. But I, I like where we're going here. Okay. This is actually... I like those ears. <laughs> oh, I hope we keep a fur style like this. That is just the cutest set of ears that I have seen. In, oh, look at them. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh, that's just the cutest set of ears I've seen in a long time. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and change the color pattern now. We're going to be changing seven times. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. <gasps> and now the moment of truth. Are we gonna have a gray dog or are we gonna have a little bit of color variety? Twice here. One, two. <gasps> this doesn't bode well. 12 times here. One, two, oh, three, oh, four. Ah! <laughs> Easter egg dog, I love it. Five, no, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 10, 11, 12. No, no, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blue, I can take some blue. Thank you. Eight more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, she's actually really cool looking uh, in her own unique way. And we're going to continue changing her. So her fur, I was so, why is there so much gray on this dog? Why? Now we're going to, we have all the random colors of the universe in gray. Okay, now we are going to roll four times. One, two, three, four. Oh, Heather. Okay. All right. All right. I, I missed your fluffy ears. I'm glad I saved you as you were before, but all right. You know what? You know what? Let's keep going. We're gonna go ahead and do the pet clothing. And again, this is where things get interesting. We might possibly add whiskers to this dog, which you can't really see because of the fur type, but oh, well actually, yeah, you really can. I like that. Uh, and, or we might have uh, pig noses on this dog, which would be kind of interesting too. And a whole bunch of other features that would become genetic permanent things in her family line. So we're gonna roll nine times and at the ninth time, we'll see if any of those things have stuck around. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, <gasps> she has whiskers! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, we have whiskers, you guys. Let's go ahead and remove all of the pet clothing and let's check. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> she has whiskers and hooves. What kind of creature have we just made in our lab? <laughs> 
All right, you know what? I'll take it. We have whiskers. We have hooves. Um, we're definitely on to something. I'm not even sure what we would have mixed in genetically to create Heather now. Oh, and she needs to be Heather canine experiment. Hey, 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 I said 056, excuse you. There we go. All right, so now we get to have five puppies between Dumpling and Heather, and we're gonna cross our paws and see if they actually have some more colorful puppies. So let's see if our brand new lab assistant is really gonna be able to help us out with that. So Heather, Dumpling, Gray Puppy. <sighs> That's okay, Gray Puppy, um, number one. And now we're gonna have four more chances for a, a really recessive gene to just pop up like a daisy and give us some color. So daughter number two. Okay, okay, Heather's, Heather's inheritance, daughter number three. Oh, yes, come on, please, I'm begging you. I got all my hands crossed right now. Okay, daughter number four. Okay, let's keep this up, keep this up. And five, yes! <laughs> I'm so happy right now. All right, guys, so we do actually have a dog who is not a little gray dog uh, born in the family. It has finally happened. We have finally broken the curse and will this puppers end up having whiskers? Let me roll. An even number means yes, an odd number means no. I have a die in my hand right now. It's even! So we do have whiskers. Oh my gosh. This is finally, finally, finally introducing the randomness I have wanted back in our canines for so long. And then we have a three on the hooves, which means no hooves. So we do have whiskers at least. We, this, I'm not even, mm, I'm not even sure what to compare this puppers to, to be completely honest, but I love them. I love them. And this is going to be Tay, left after a comment by Cody. So thank you so much, Cody. We will definitely name a dog Tay. This is going to be Canine Experiment 057. I am so happy to see him. We are going to go ahead and give him the couch potato trait. Then he's going to be hairy. And then let's see, four and loyal. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, come on guys. Don't you just want to take Tay home? Look at him. Look at how cute he is. He's hairy and a couch potato and he's super loyal and all he wants to do is snuggle you and eat your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with you after you get home from school and I love him. Oh, such a relief. But all right, so there we go. Thank you so much to Jenna for joining the lab. It appears that you definitely do have a splash of color because we finally have color back in the family tree. I'm so happy. And we are going to be popping back over to our felines pretty soon because one of the other amazing things the members of our private Patreon Discord have done is added in so much pet custom content suggestions for me to download and add into our random genetics. And I'm in a little bit of a time crunch since I have that big trip coming up in May, but I will download them as soon as I can. And that means that we might start seeing two-tailed cats and uh, multiple ears popping up out of everywhere. So let's just say things are going to be very interesting for our animals soon. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.